TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. In this video, I want to talk about how to set up the timer off delay. Now, setting up the timer off delay is very similar to setting up the timer on delay, which I've shown you in another video. But I want to walk you through the steps here so you can see the difference between the on delay and the off delay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a input, and I'm going to tag this to the right uh, green uh, latching push button on the TII Technical Education Systems Trainer for the Siemens PLC and HMI. You can see this is tagged to the input uh, 4 in slot 0. And to grab the off delay instruction, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, expand out our toolbar and go down to uh, basic instructions under timer. And we're going to grab the block diagram here of your off delay. So we're going to bring this up, drop it into place, and we'll tag this off timer. Okay. And again, we set this up very similar. So our preset time is always a multiple of one millisecond. So let's make this seven seconds. So we would have to type in 7,000. You hit enter, and you can see it pops up here as seven seconds. The ET time, the accumulated time, this is what will actually show you how long it is accumulated. So we'll come here, and I'm just going to tag this... Um, off, off ACC, hit enter, and I'll define this tag um, as the address that they give, us, give you here, and the data type is time. So go ahead and select define, and here is the tag you've created so you can see that time accumulate. Okay? Now, what we want to do is we'll go ahead and put an output on here. Um, we'll put an output right here, and we will identify this as left red light. Hit enter, and that is tagged to output zero on slot zero of the S7 1200 that is in the TII Technical Education Systems Trainer. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and download this to the PLC. Now what we'll do is we will put this into the monitor on function. And notice that the output is not on right now. But one of the things that people struggle with when it comes to off delay timers is they always forget that right when the timer is activated, the the done bit, the Q, goes true, okay? So you will see this red light go true as soon as I activate the button. And now it's on. The output is on and it's ready and it's operating, whatever it is. If it's a cylinder, if it's a motor, whatever it is, or a pilot light. Now, how the off delay works is exactly what it says. It delays the off. So when you deactivate the latching push button, the timer will run for seven and a half seconds and then turn off. So we can leave it on for 10 minutes, three days, whatever, the, whatever it's needed for. But right when you deactivate the switch, the light will be on for whatever that preset time is. So let's watch it one more time. Now, the light is on. Notice that I'm not accumulating here. Now I deactivate the switch. It's timing. We're up to two seconds. It, once it gets to seven seconds, the light will shut off because we delayed it from turning off after the switch was deactivated. And this is an example of how a timer off delay works on a Siemens PLC using TII Portal V114. Um, this is Unit 16 in the trainer.